I'm cooking one ton. Boil the water first, then you put the one ton in. Make sure you get enough water. I put 15 cups of water. When you put the wonton in, and use ladle to slide slightly to the bottom, stir a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom. Then we wait uh, until it boil again. Leave the pot open. It will boil again very soon. Now the wonton is boiling again. See, first time I put the raw wonton in the boiling water. Now it's reboiling again. I put half cup of room temperature water to bring down the temperature and slow down the cooking process. Make sure the whole thing completely cooked. So now I'm waiting uh, for the second time boiling. Meanwhile, I um, cooked uh, the wonton broth, the wonton soup. I make my own stock. This is the serving bowl. I make my own uh, stock. Uh, you can buy the chicken stock or um, beef stock, beef broth in the grocery store and uh, make sure you um, boil it and put some salt and uh, paper to your taste. Make your own broth, the wonton soup. This is the very simple uh, wonton soup. Of course, you can put the um, veggie in and uh, cook the veggie and uh, um, to put some meat in. Now, the wonton is uh, boiled again, it's cooked completely. I get it out to my serving bowl in the wonton soup. Just to make sure you cook the wonton soup individually and uh, cook the wonton in clear water. Later you put them together. This is serving bowl and uh, people can have their individual small bowl later. Put some green onion on top. This is a very simple wonton soup. I'm cook one ton, bring the water, boil first. Water need be enough. Then you put the raw one ton in. Make sure you get enough water. I put 15 cups of water. Put the one ton in and then uh, use ladle slightly stir it, make sure it won't stick on the bottom. Then wait it reboil. Just leave the pot open. It will um, reboil a few minutes in a few minutes. My wonton is boiling again. First time I put the raw wonton in the boiling water and now second time it's boiling. I add some room temperature water, about half cup, to bring down the temperature, to slow down the whole uh, cooking process, make sure the whole thing is slowly, gradually uh, cooked. After adding some room temperature water, my wonton is uh, boiling again, now it's uh, cooked. Uh, I'm going to take this out. So two ways, you can put it in the wonton soup. Now I'm doing some uh, Sichuan style, use ladle to uh, kind of drain it to take this out. And uh, 
just make sure huh? put in the, uh, the boiling water and then it boiled again, add some cold water, room temperature water is boiling again, now it's cooked. You can dip it in any kind of the sauce you like. Um, I made my own today. It's a Sichuan style, use some very basic things, red chili oil, soy sauce, sugar, and uh, uh, some crushed garlic. We call it, simply call it red oil, chili oil sauce. Dip in this sauce and eat it. It's too warm now to put in my mouth. Or you can just uh, put some sauce in your plate. The sauce, the proportion for the chili and the soy sauce and the sugar um, to your taste. Okay. Simply stir it and make the Sichuan style wonton. We call it chili oil wonton in Chinese. Hong Yao Chao Shou. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching.